Hi, this is Jacob with RemoveVirus.org, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at Security Tool. We've already covered this two other times, and the other videos are very, very thorough. However, Security Tool has updated since those two videos, and because it did update, we wanted to go ahead and just create a quick follow-up video. If this does not work for you, I would encourage you to go to the RemoveVirus.org website. We have two other videos on Security Tool. However, this does cover the latest thread on it, and we're doing this on a Windows 7 computer. However, it will work the exact same on Vista and slightly different on XP, but most of you should be able to figure it out. So, without further ado, and Security Tool is a fake security client in case you uh, could not figure that out. One of the first things I'm going to go ahead and do just pop down to the system tray, hit start button. If you have security tool there, most people will, right when it's first installed, go ahead and right click on it, select properties. When you select properties, what it's going to do is it's going to show you the executable, and the ex executable is what's actually starting security tool um, on your computer. So once you delete that or rename it and then reboot your computer, it will no longer be running and you'll be able to delete it. So that's basically what we're going to do. I'm just going to browse down to this folder path, which is going to be under C drive, users, uh, your username, app data folder. It's going to be application data for uh, um, XP users, documents and settings, forward slash username, forward slash application data, forward slash, and, and et cetera, et cetera but uh, we have that on our, our manual guide anyways so I'm just gonna copy this path in here and the app data is a hidden folder so if you were to manually browse to there uh, you'll have to actually show hidden files and folders or else neat little trick I'm just gonna go under users Jacob click up here and I said it was in the app data right app data just put a backslash behind there boom you're in so local or else, uh, like I said before, you could have just taken that and copied it. You don't want to copy the exe in there, the executable, I should say. Enter. So now I'm in, and I'm doing all this in normal mode. If you are able to boot in safe mode, you can just boot into safe mode, browse down uh, to the correct folder path, and then right here you're going to have a five-digit number. Then it's going to be just, be just a random number. It's not going to be 60120 for you. It's going to be some. In the past, this used to be nine digits long and it used to be in a subfolder. And now it's just here by itself. And it's pretty easy to identify because they made the mistake of leaving the icon there on the executable. So because Security Tool is running right now on my computer, all I can do is just rename it. I'm going to right click, rename, rename it, whatever you want. So that, pro that program is no, it's still running. All right. So is what you have to do is you have to reboot your computer, turn it off, turn it back on. A security tool will not be running anymore, and you'll be able to right-click on it and delete it. And it really is that simple. And uh, at this point in time, you really need to run a full uh, virus scan on your computer to ensure you're not infected with anything else. Most people who are infected with security tool are going to have several other variants on your computer. If you go to the removevirus.org website, we do have uh, direct links to Spyro Doctor with Antivirus, which is uh, my personal favorite client. Also to uh, Malwarebytes, I really like them too as well. And we do have a uh, remote computer repair service here as well. I haven't rebooted yet. That's why it's there and uh, to a remote computer repair service that's through uh, onlinecomputerrepair.org again that's onlinecomputerrepair.org in case you can't remove this yourself uh, no shame um, these guys can do it for 89 bucks they remote in it's a company small little company based in California I've been recommending them out for years because they do a really really awesome job and that is it for this video so if I were to just reboot you have to ensure that you go back in and delete that file and I would actually um, empty out your recycle bin too and then run a full scan I use Spire Doctor with antivirus I really don't care what you use just run the scan and that is it take care